surgery for macular hole is one of the most commonly performed vitreo retinal procedures. The first step is to achieve a good PVD creation. This is followed by an island peel after staining with brilliant blue dye. Following these steps, several modalities such as inverted flap, free flap, autologous and lens capsular flaps have been used to facilitate closure of the hole. In the past, we have been massaging the edges of the hole with forceps so as to relax the margins. After this massaging maneuver, air fluid exchange is done and one can see the hole reducing in size. Another case of a recurrent macular hole where we have used the same technique to relax the edges of the hole. This is followed by an air fluid exchange, after which the hole decreases in size. To facilitate this massaging, we have developed a new tool called the Retinal Massager, which has a smooth bulbous tip, which would be atraumatic on the surface of retina. In this case, we demonstrate the use of this instrument. At the end of an ILM peel, the massager is used to gently relax the retina around the hole in a circumferential manner. This is atraumatic to the retinal surface as it does not have any rough irregular edges, unlike the forceps. After this, an air fluid exchange is carried out. By the end of the exchange, we can see the hole reducing to a pinpoint. This is another example of a large hole where we use the retinal massager in a similar manner. Once air fluid exchange is completed, we can see that the hole becomes smaller. This is a case of a traumatic macular hole. After an ILM peel, the massager is used concentrically around the hole. Once again, the hole reduces to a pinpoint size by the end of the surgery. This is a case of a retinal detachment with a horseshoe tear along with a macular hole. Brilliant blue dye is used to stain the ILM. After this, PFCL is injected. ILM peeling is done under PFCL. At this stage, we use the massager to relax the edges of the hole. Air fluid exchange is done and once retina is flat, laser is done around the tear. These are some of the examples of pre- and post-operative OCTs of closures of large macular holes in which the massager was used during the surgical procedure. Another indication where the retinal massager has been used is in cases of bad PVR with stiff retinal folds. After doing a vitrectomy and retinectomy, the massager is used to atraumatically iron out the stiff retinal folds 
and flatten the retina. Three sixty degree laser is done to the retinectomy margins. Hence, the retinal massager is a safe, reusable, multi purpose tool and can be used as an adjunct for various vitro retinal procedures.